Here we have a braille job set up in Engrave Lab, and this is the positioning on the table. And it's just a simple engraving job, just one through nine. Q3D controller, Q3 uh, pendant, and then this is the raster pin setup. It currently is in the up position, and that's how you're going to flip it up and down. And everything is already preset. You might also notice that we're running it on the slowest uh, spindle speed. That's the best for drilling. And in order to put it into the proper mode, first I'm going to hit reset to send it home. Then I'm going to press toggle and the number 8. And then number one, it's a manual and dual cutter set. I'll press number one and then confirm to initiate. And I need to send the job over. I'll put and send. So I've got the job over here. And all I do is press start. It'll tell me to lift the beater, which I can, and I press confirm since I know the beater is up. After it returns to home, it will go back to the standard home, and the pendant now says lower braille beater. So you just take this little arm and push it around, and then it says press start. So I'm going to press start. And now it's exercising cutter set two. And I know it's a little hard to see, but it is inserting the beads. I'll try to do a close-up here in a moment. Now you might notice that you can see how much compression is actually being done on the raster pin. It does need that much compression or it will not get a new ball ready for the next insertion. Now when we ship it to you, we're going to just disconnect this small screw here, lift the beater out, and all you'll need to do is insert it back in, pull the spring around it, and you're going to be ready to go. All the settings are already done. Let's go ahead and take a look at the beading. tell by my preview here that it's not very uh, very good but you can basically see that it's beaded a hundred percent 